We pull up to grandma's house on Langford. I swear, like every cholo from Pozole was there. Um, nothing new because these are Benji's homies, you know what I'm saying? But they were deep, man, more than usual. And um, we get out. Mom's holding me and my brother close to her as we're walking as if these guys were contagious or something. But I already caught the bug just looking at them. I mean, I was always attracted to, you know, the way they carried themselves. And la la, my cousin Benji, I looked up to. So, I mean, well, when my dad opened up the door, though, man, that was something else because I'll never forget. It felt like pressure just being released from my grandma's house home. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing I've been used to. Everything is kind of off right now. And when he swung the door open, though, man, that's when I really got scared, man, because this my grandma has this love chair that's just right in your vision as soon as you open up the door. And my Auntie Gloria is sitting there with this look of just, oh man, it was sad. It was like really sad, really, really sad. Her her, her face was weighed down, her, it, it, her shoulders. She almost looked lifeless, like pale. Um, my grandma was sitting next to her holding her hand. They were both holding each other's hands. My grandma had the same look and my aunties were at her feet on the, everyone was huddled around Auntie Gloria. Nobody was quiet, crying. Nobody was talking. There was a lot of people though. I mean, I, I, when I started going in slowly, started seeing, you know, family members couldn't put a face with anybody, but there was, it was just really scary. It's, now past weird and my mom she's walking us to the back and she sits me and my brother on the bed and my dad's in there and he's like pacing back and forth he's fired up about something and my mom is in between me and my dad and she turned around and she said i'll never forget she said uh little benji's in heaven now and I didn't understand that. Heaven. Do we get to see him? I remember asking that. Do we get to see him? And I do also remember my mom saying, he's with Jesus. Um, and uh, yeah, that was, that was, I'll never forget that man, straight up, for real. And um, I had just had a lot of thoughts going through my head, you know, just, just, you know, trying to soak up everything that's happening. And, um, Okay, okay. This is new, you know what I but mean? But at the same time, I'm really interested with what's going on. I, I'm not trying to like, you know, invading grown folks business, but it's, I'm, I'm just got my eyes peeled open. I'm watching all this unfold. And I mean, life for a five, six year old, you're still doing kid stuff. You got all your cousins, you're hanging out at grandma's house more than ever. You're in the place to be. At the same time, I also see my, Auntie Gloria, man, who I love, um, just looking really, really without any hope. It, it just looks really sad. And I love my cousin Benji. I always looked up to him. And I wanted to tell my auntie that. I wanted to go over there. And auntie, I did. I'm going to be just like my cousin Benji. I'm going to be from Pozole too. Just like that. She held my hand. And she goes, oh, mijo, you're going to be from Pozole too? Uh, with the plastic smile, patting my hand. And I said, yeah. I mean, I wanted to give her back her son. I wanted to give her back that life for real. And, and, and I can only do that through her, her son. My mom was looking over my shoulder. So after all of this right here, I remember us leaving. My mom wasn't, you know, she was uneasy about something. And um, so we bend off of Langford and I remember my mom just turning around and, and in our station wagon and saying to me, your dad's friends are either dead, in jail, or all on drugs somewhere. And that right there, my friends, was like the open up of, of this street shit. I mean, my dad, what do, you, what do you mean my dad? My dad's friends are are dead, like what Benji just had went through, my family. So my dad, you know, is from these streets, you know? And, and at this point, I just had to figure it out. I had to figure out what the street life was all about, you know what I'm saying? Because I was already starting to itch for 
you know, this lifestyle. I mean, my, my dad never bring that on me. Like, you know, he was a super badass cholo or he was a family man straight up. My uncles, that's how I looked at all of the men in my family, like soldiers, you know what I mean? Like men, you know? But when my mom told me that, it made me feel like my dad is actually above that. My dad is actually above all, like they all looked at him as a G. I didn't understand that at that time what a G was and all of that, but wow, this is, this is, I'm turned on. I'm turned on. Now I'm like, okay, we're going to ride for the streets, man. I mean, I'm going to pick up the pieces, give our family back Benji. I'm going to give my family back Benji. Here we go.